Hey, welcome to this episode of Gas Therapy. I'm Michael. I share my knowledge of musical gear solutions, which are cheaper and better, in my opinion. My last video ranting about new iPads definitely triggered a few people. If new iPads don't worth buying for music making, then what should people buy? Just give me a quick answer. So today, I'm gonna tell you what's the best budget device on the market for music making, in my opinion. The best budget device for music making, in my opinion, should be really easy to carry and got built-in battery, built-in microphone, built-in speakers, and an informative color screen, just like an OP1. You may ask, Jesus, if it is this good, then I'm not sure if I can handle the price. Actually, you don't need to worry about the price. The best budget music making device, in my opinion, is the device you're using to watch my video right now. You already own it. It is free. And I'm 100% serious. No matter what operating system your device has, iOS, Android, Mac, or Windows, they all have built-in CPU and RAM to compute sound, synths, and facts. And they all have storage to save your project files. They all have built-in battery to serve your outdoor inspiration journey. They all have built-in microphone to record, built-in speakers to preview your work. And they all have a crazy informative built-in color screen. For each point I mentioned, it sounds like it belongs to a hyper groove box like an OP-1. That is because those hyper groove boxes nowadays are actually just the differently shaped smart devices, which are way, way weaker than the ones you already own. The CPU power of nowadays smart devices are already too much for making music. The only thing missing is the music production system runs on your device. Or should I say an app which is designed specifically for music making. If you are on iOS, then lucky you. You got GarageBand on board, which is free and really dope. It has a lot of built-in virtual instruments and all kinds of loops to start with. It also supports InterApp Audio and the AUV3. InterApp Audio means you can route other apps' audio into GarageBand and record it, as long as this app supports InterApp Audio output. And AUV3 means you can insert third-party instrument and effects into GarageBand and use them just like VST plugins on PC. There are just a lot of them, although not too much free stuff on iOS. But if buying and assembling LEGO is your thing, then you'll be really satisfied with the iOS device you already have. I've been playing synthesizer in my band since 2010. It's like a 12 years journey, and I had a lot of fun with it. If you are on Mac, you got GarageBand on board too. And it's even more powerful than the iOS version. It not only comes with instruments, facts, and loops, it also supports AU instrument and facts plugins, just like the paid version, which is Logic Pro. And with those plugins, you can even turn GarageBand into an MPC for free, which I will make some tutorials in the future. I use a lot of free plugins, which are pretty dope. Just stay tuned. Anyway, I prefer GarageBand over Logic because it has a cleaner user interface. And it is free. I don't want to pay Apple anymore. It has a little bit limitation where you want different tracks to talk with each other, like a sidechain. But there is workaround. And you don't need to buy the latest Macs to get GarageBand. Mine here is the MacBook Air 2014, which only has 4GB of RAM and 1.4GHz of CPU power. It struggles when I hit around 20 tracks, but for most cases, it'll be just fine. I already finished a few commercial advertisement tracks within GarageBand. It is doable. GarageBand is the most power-efficient DAW in my experience. Just stay with the Mac you already own if you don't feel the limitation. One, two, three, four. If you are on Windows, there are also a lot of free softwares which allows you to make music. The one I like the most is the MPC Beats, 
which is also free. It turns your PC into a real NPC. You know, modern NPCs are just a computer cranked in a chunky box. And don't be scared of the audio latency on Windows. You can install a free tool called ASIO for All and choose to use it as the audio output source when you are using your music making software. It'll work like a charm. I'll put a link down below. You can go check it out. Finally, if you are on Android, it is not impossible to make music with. There are already a few software which did a great job dealing with the Android audio latency. The ones I use the most is Koala Sampler, Caustic, and the FL Studio Mobile. Especially for the FL Studio Mobile, it can handle recording, mixing, and mastering all on its own. There is no need to puzzle up different plugins all over the place like what we did on iOS, which makes the workflow even easier and better, in my opinion. You might need to pay a few dollars though, but it's totally worth it. Plus, it got a big update recently, which added a new module called the Slicer. It's really handy for making a sample-based hip-hop beat from different loops. As you can see, you don't need to buy any expensive devices. The best budget device for music making is right in your hand. You already own it, and with the music making software I mentioned for each platform, you will get further enough to make a full album, as long as you know how to make music. You might ask, okay, if those devices are good enough to make music, then why there are so many hardware gears on earth, and so many influencers are willing to sell out to get them for free? For me, it's all about the tactile feel and the big capitals wants to make my money. A tight control workflow can make everything on hand, so somehow it will liberate your eyes for always looking for feedback information from the screen. Otherwise, the hardware gears are just the same with my smart devices. But you don't think you can make better music just with tighter controls, right? Or do you? Jeez. Okay, that's it for today's video. I'm planning to make more tutorial videos on how to make a beat for each platform. You can leave a comment, tell me which one you want me to start with. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also follow my Instagram and support me through Patreon for some secret tips. I'm Michael, this is Gas Therapy, reminding you that uh, gears don't matter. See you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>